Hey guys, what's up? This is Kool Aid Man, and today I'm gonna show you guys all the assault rifles recoil patterns on the wall here, just to show you which gun has the most recoil and which has the least. So, if you guys have a second, give that video a like and stuff after the video is done. That'd be awesome, cause that is awesome. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna start off with the bow here, and we're just gonna aim at this wall and shoot at it, and do it with the other assault rifles when we're down the road. We're gonna shoot with two full magazine clips, and just to see how bad the wall gets shot up or how close the shots are and so far the battle has a pretty close spread or yeah it's pretty close so let's move on to the AK-12G now I'm doing both AK-12s just to see if there's any difference and you'll see in the video later on and let's get to it so as you see so far the AK-12G has a decent amount of recoil this this compared to the bow improvising <laughs> so yeah that has a lot less recoil than the belt does moving on to the next AK the regular AK you get at the beginning of the game now we're just gonna shoot at this wall again one more time with the AK-12 and as you can see it has pretty much a little bit less spread than or vertical recoil than the other AK-12 does as you get to see the wall here it has more of a tighter group than anything else moving on to the ARX-180 burst fire weapon and as you can see it it looks virtually recoilless only the hind sights are kicking and that's pretty much it and as we move up here they're really close together even closer than the AK-12s were so that's really interesting next we have is HBR and I think you'll be more surprised than I am once you get to see this video and yeah that's the HBR the most recoil I've probably seen so far when I was doing this video so as you can see here this wall was shot up there was vertical and like it was zigzag it was going up like crazy so we're going to the IMR now we're going to test this out and just like the ARX it is a burst fire except it shoots four bursts and this one shoots pretty dang accurate as well so as you can see here their recoil is almost gone but once you get here, you can see that there's a slight vertical reload or recoil at once you um, have that burst fire. The fourth burst shoots up higher because you know it's burst. So moving on to the MK14, as you can see here, it is straight up vertical recoil, and it kicks pretty hard if you want to shoot the gun 24/7. Just pop, 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 and it just pretty much shoots up. If you can handle the vertical recoil, then again, we're probably a decent gun, but it's not the best. That's right. So we're gonna go over each one real quick. Starting with the BAL 27. The BAL 27 had, compared to the rest, has a medium amount of recoil. I give it about a four out of six for the most recoil or the least recoil. So it's up there. So it has a nice spread to it. Like it's not too big. It's a body shot from 100 feet away or so. This is the AR, or the AR, so the AK-12G, it has pretty much only vertical recoil, and it's pretty controllable, and you'll be able to get the kill pretty quickly. The ARX, same thing, it's tightly impacted together, so there's no vertical recoil at all whatsoever. It is pretty much straightforward, and, oh uh, yeah, actually that was the AK-12, I'm sorry, this is the ARX. So, the ARX has a really tight um, spread, it doesn't have any spread at all it a really really accurate gun if you know how to use it and right here's the HBR A3 this gun shoots all over the place if you don't have a grip on this gun it will probably be very hard to use and it can be inaccurate at times but it's supposed to be accurate gun now understand um here's the IMR the burst shot weapon the four shot burst it has only vertical recoil to worry about and as you can see to the left of me here has probably 20 times less recoil than the HBR does. And now here's the MK14. The MK14 just has vertical recoil when you shoot it too much. I'm pretty sure people won't shoot the full clip at that time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever, and this is cool anyway. Thanks for watching.